Yo, it's Josh with Plus Fitness. Uh, this is a video I'm really excited to bring to you guys. As you can see, I got a little thing wrapped around my leg, and uh, today we're actually going to talk about blood flow restriction, otherwise known as occlusion training. Occlusion training, what am I saying? Sorry, guys. Anyways, so the history of this was it was originally founded in Shanghai, or Japan, I believe, somewhere out there, and essentially they used it on patients in a hospital for rehab purposes. Recently, it's been studied a lot by Jeremy Leonke. I think I really butchered his last name, but I'll, uh, I'll attach all the proper articles. So the idea of blood flow training is you get a band to essentially restrict the blood flow throughout the muscles. So by you putting it on your thigh, you're going to actually restrict everything from your calves, your hamstrings, your abductors, abductors, quads, you get the idea. And then ultimately that's going to make it harder for you to do the work and there's going to be less blood flow to the muscle which will ultimately help it swell and stretch. And the idea of this is that you're only going to be doing 30% of what you would normally do so it's very humbling. Uh, hence the title Lightweight Baby, it is really light. So for me I actually, um, I did this improperly at first, I started with the bar. You're supposed to do one set of 30 reps and then 3 of 15 is what the goal is. but they say that it'll be very hard to do that. It's not. It's a different feeling of pain. You feel the muscle just swelling and the pain, like a really, really big pump. It's not a pain of failure per se. It's what I've noticed with this. So it allows you to go a bit lighter. Excellent if you have injuries or other, or other issues such as, but not limited to joint pain. Um, perhaps you don't feel like going in and training heavy every day because I know a lot of people come in and they don't want to and then Kyle and myself, we actually have a heavy day and a light day so we find our heavy day we can really focus on our, our strength numbers and just getting all our numbers appropriately. Whereas in this day we can work on hypertrophy, getting pump, trying to really develop our muscle and focus on contraction. The fact that the weight is so much lighter, I find I can really work on my depth, I can really work on the contraction of the muscle and I can make sure. I'm really stimulating it appropriately as opposed to jerking heavier weights per se on my strength day where I'm just trying to get stronger. So I'm getting best of both worlds. Especially if you really want to bring up your legs. Um, calves are in my strong suit. They look freakishly small here. I don't know why. Honestly, it's probably lighting, but <laughs> what can you do? I, I've tried everything, guys. They actually don't measure that small. They measure at 17.75 find they're really out not wide it's something i'm working on so hopefully i'll have some videos for you guys on that so uh yeah for this workout essentially we're doing everything with occlusion occlusion training sorry which is uh really helping us to utilize that pump go a bit lighter work on our form like we were saying we really just want to develop our physique on this day and not worry about strength and be humbled by the weights so we're getting nice and deep as you can see uh, for leg press, you want to go right before your knees lock out so you're not causing any knee pain. Kyle, you can see, is demonstrating it perfectly, really deep, right up. No hands, no assists, no nothing. It's got the chair set nice and low. But once again, blood flow restriction is an excellent thing that I recommend trying. Um, when you're wrapping the band, some people will say, well, like, if you didn't catch on to what I said before, how do you train calves or wrap it around my calves? Well, no, if you're restricting blood flow up, the top of your femur then you're going to restrict it for your calves as well simply put right really really excellent tool for legs crazy good pumps i feel like it'll really help me develop my physique as well as my endurance because i've been doing a lot of low rep training recently but now kyle and i are really trying to bring up our physique in every way possible so it's an excellent thing right here blood flow definitely try it I do it for everything some people just do it for burnouts and then if people say how tight do I wrap the band you want it to be about 7 out of 10 for discomfort uh, so like we said we don't show all our sets here so we don't bore you guys but um, we do 30 reps for the first sum set at 20 to 30 percent of your normal load then 15 15 15 that's uh, what we're doing you keep the band on whole time and then after you take it off so, uh, sorry, I think I earlier I misstated something that I just want to fix. The goal is not to restrict blood flow to the muscle, but instead prevent blood flow return from the muscle. Okay, so I just want to make that very clear so before everyone goes and uh, gets me for that. <laughs> 
So yeah, once again, people say, why don't I just train heavy if I can do this? And you'll say, well, uh, par poorly paraphrasing um, Lane Norton and Jeremy Oki, if you guys listen to Physique uh, Science Radio, <laughs> why work harder if you don't have to, right? <laughs> it's like if it fits your macros versus clean dieting. All right, guys, so hopefully this opened up your eyes to it. Uh, post any questions you have, and I'll try to answer them and post some links. Peace.